Hello everyone, my name is Susan Rai, Sikkim Government College Nancy. Uh, and I would like to give a special thanks to uh, Dr. C.P. Khatiwara sir, who gave me an interesting assignment about Eastern Garlic Experiment. Eastern and gar Garlic uh, perform an experiment demonstrated directly that an atom placed in a magnetic field can take only certain distance orientation with respect to the field. It also demonstrated the existence of electronic spin, and thus providing an experimental verification of the vector model of an atom. Let's we uh, we make setup. Uh, this is AG uh, taking AG. This is two slits uh, uh, and direction of magnetic field from north pole to south pole, and this is photographic plate. Uh, the directions of magnetic field magnetic field is Z in Z direction, Z axis. Uh, hence the field increase in intensity in the jet direction the beam the beam leaving the magnetic field was received on a photographic plate p on developing the plate no trace of the direct beam was obtained uh, instead two tracks were obtained symmetrically situated with respect to the direct beam uh, this means that the beam of silver atoms is split into two descent components. A magnetic experiences or net deflecting force in a non-homogeneous magnetic field which depends on the orientations of the magnetic in the field. Mm. Since atoms are tiny magnets and they experience deflecting force when 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 passing through the field, if an atom could have any orientation in magnetic field, then on the millions of atoms present in the beam, all possible orientations would be obtained and the beam would be deflected into a continuous band. So we know that in in the experiment, however, and there was no band but dissident trackers on the photographic plate. This showed that the atoms passing through the field were oriented in space in distinct direction. Uh, thus, the experimental results are quali qualitatively direct proof of the space quantization uh, of atom. Let us consider the experimental result quantitatively. Uh, the average transverse uh, force uh, experienced by an atom uh, atomic uh, magnet transversing uh, the in homogeneous magnetic field is Fz equals to del Bz by del Z mu J Z. So we know that uh, del Bz uh, is the rate of change of field in the Z direction mm. and mu J Z uh, uh, is Z component of total magnetic moment Mj of the atom. So the relation between the total magnetic uh, magnetic moment and total angular momentum J is uh, mu J mu J equals to minus G J to E by two m J uh, that gives mu J equals to minus G J uh, mu B two pi by H J where G is the corresponding G factor and uh, mu B equals to E S by two uh, mu b equals to 2s by 4 uh, pi n is bone magnetism uh, mu b equals to e s by 2 uh, 4 um, 4 pi n is uh, um, both magnetism magnetism uh, this uh, the possible component of mu j along z axis are given by uh, mu j mu j equals to gj mu mu b 2 pi by h j z uh, equals to uh, uh, we uh, uh, gj uh, gj mu b 2 pi by h mj h by 2 pi uh, so uh, we we cancel 2 pi and uh, 2 we we cancel uh, 2 uh, 2 pi uh, 2 pi by h uh, uh, and h uh, by 2 pi so that gives a uh, mu z equals to gj gj uh, mu b mj uh, where 
where the magnetic quantum number mj <coughs> mj can uh, assume a total of 2j plus 1 values uh, ranging from plus j to minus j and that gives fz equals to uh, del bz by del z uh, gj mu b mj uh, because of this force uh, the atoms mass m have a transverse acceleration az given by del z equals to fz by m equals to 1 by m del bz by del z gj mu b mj if bx be the longitudinal velocity of the atoms and d be the length of their path in the magnetic field then the time t uh, t equals to d by bx but from kinetic theory the velocity bx of an atom of mass m evaluated by sitting 1 by m bx square equals to 2 kt so uh, we know that uh, k k k is Bo boltzmann constant uh, and t t is temperature of the oven from this we have bx equals to root over 4 kt by m uh, t equals to d by bx equals to d m um, d root m m by 4 kt uh, so therefore the transverse uh, the transverse deflections suffer by atoms is given by z equals to 1 by 2 del z t square uh, equals to 1 by 2 1 uh, 1 by m uh, del bz by del z equals to uh, gj mu b mj d square m by 4 kt equals to gj mj del bz mu mu b d square by 8 kt uh, the atomic uh, beam would be deflected into uh, 2j plus 1 uh, components corresponding to the 2j plus 1 possible values of nj giving uh, 2j plus 1 tracks on the plate for silver atom two tracks were obtained and by measuring the separations between the tracks it was found from last expression that gj mj equals to plus minus one uh, at the temperature of the oven the silver atoms were in their ground state which is uh, s half for which uh, uh, L equals to 1, J equals to S, S equals to half, so that uh, 2J plus 1 equals to 2. Uh, hence, uh, there were two trackers further, GJ equals to GS equals to Z, MJ equals to MS equals to plus minus half. So, GJ M MJ equals to 2 plus minus 1 by 2 equals to plus minus 1. So, this experiment is also an evidence for the existence of electron spin. Uh, this was so most clearly in 1927 by Phipps and Taylor who repeated the stone garlic experiment by using a beam of hydrogen atom. This atom consists uh, of a single electron and the theory predicts in the ground state the quantum number L is zero. Uh, if there uh, were no spin, then we would have j equals to l equals to 0 and g j m j equals to 0 and the beam would be unaffected by the magnetic field uh, and only one track would have been obtained on the plate. So, however, uh, however, Phipps uh, and Taylor found the beam to be split into two symmetrical deflected component corresponding corresponding uh, to to uh, gj mj equals to 1 uh, thus uh, this is just the case this is just the case where when the existence of electron spin is admitted and the value half is assigned uh, to the spin quantum number then l equals to 0 j equals to l plus minus s uh, equals to 0 plus minus 1 by 2 equals to 1 by 2 uh, so uh, the uh, 2j plus 1 uh, equals to uh, 2 uh, 
टू इंटू वन बै टू टू इंटू वन बै टू प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू टू सो टू इंटू वन बै टू इक्वल्स टू प्लस माइनस वन हेन्स देर वे टू ट्रैक इज फर्दर जी जे इक्वल्स टू जी एस इक्वल्स टू जेड एम जे इक्वल्स टू एम एस इक्वल्स टू प्लस माइनस हाफ सो जी जे एम एम जे इक्वल्स टू टू प्लस माइनस वन बाई टू इक्वल्स टू प्लस माइनस वन सो दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज ऑल्सो एन एविडेन्स फर द एक्जिस्टेंस अफ इलेक्ट्रोन स्पीड दिस वॉज सो मोस्ट क्लियरली इन नाइन्टीन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सेवेन बाई फिफ्स एंड टेलर हु रिपीटेड द स्टर्न गार्लिक एक्सपेरिमेंट बाई यूजिंग अ बीम अफ हाइड्रोजन एटम दिस एटम कंसिस्ट अफ अ सींगल इलेक्ट्रोन एंड द थ्योरी प्रिडिक्स इन द ग्राउंड स्टेट द कॉन्टन नंबर एल इज जीरो इफ देर वे नो स्पिन देन वी हुड हेव जे इक्वल्स टू एल इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड जी जे एम जे इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड द बीम हुड बी ऑन एफेक्टेड बाई द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड ओनली वन ट्रैक्स हुड हेव बीन ऑप्टेन ऑन द प्लेट सो हाईवर uh however fifth uh, and taylor found the beam to be split into two symmetrical deflected component corresponding corresponding uh to to uh, gj mj equals to 1 uh, thus uh, this is just the case this is just the case when when the existence of electron spin is admitted and the value half is assigned uh, to the spin quantum number then l equals to 0 j equals to l plus minus s uh, equals to 0 plus minus 1 by 2 equals to 1 by 2 uh, so uh, the uh, 2j plus 1 uh, uh, equals to uh, 2 uh, 2 into 1 by 2 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 equals to 2 uh, so 2 into 1 by 2 equals to plus minus 1